Hi guys, Matt from Mercer Performance here. I'm gonna show you some defensive footwork drills that'll help with your conditioning that you don't need any equipment for, just a little bit of space. The first drill we're gonna do is a little bit of conditioning and our footwork. That's what we're gonna work on in this low amount of space. So what you need for this drill is two markers set up in front of you. They're gonna simulate your defender. From this position here, we're actually gonna work on our jab steps, okay? And what we call a round the world jab step drill. In this one, we're gonna work on three different types of jab steps. The first one is gonna be across the shoulder and across your body. So actually, if I'm a dominant right-hander, most of the time my left foot is gonna be my pivot foot. In this scenario, I'm gonna jab across my body. As I do that, I'm gonna shift my weight onto my front foot, okay? So I'm gonna lift the heel of my back foot. That'll help me shift the weight. I wanna keep my core nice and stable though. I don't wanna to come too far on that front foot. As I jab there, I'm going to protect the ball by putting it up against my left shoulder. So I'm gonna jab, my weight comes forward, and my ball is up against the shoulder to keep it protected from the defender. The next step, jab step we're gonna do is down the middle. So this one, we're gonna jab downhill, and this is to create separation from the defender. So if the defender's too close for us, we're gonna jab, shifting our weight forward onto that front foot, okay, and moving the ball with it as well. We wanna keep it protected, so we wanna put it behind our knee. And our last jab step we're gonna do is our jab step to our dominant side. From here, same thing, we're gonna shift our weight over to that front foot, shift our core, and the ball moves with it as well. With this one, we wanna make sure that the ball is protected so that we need to have at least a little bit of space between us and our defender. But for this drill, we're gonna practice these jabs. What I want you to do is put one minute on the clock and go through each of these jabs, just as a nice warm up. Make sure you're changing pivot foot so you're getting a good idea of all the jabs on each side of your body. Really important when you're jabbing to move your core and move the ball along with it whilst keeping it protected. You don't want to show the ball too far out in front of you for the defender to steal. You want to keep it nice and tight, but you want to use the ball to move your weight forward and really get the defender thinking about where you're gonna go with these jab steps if you're gonna make a move. While doing this drill, we wanna work hard, so we wanna be jabbing with some purpose and jabbing with a bit of energy. So for the next drill, we're gonna work on our jab and go move, which we're gonna jab laterally to one side and take a dribble out to the other one. We're gonna utilize our small bit of space and just take one dribble. For this drill, we're gonna add in our lateral jab step that we just practiced in the last one. From there, we're gonna go straight into a dribble across our body and explode. We're gonna use this jab to change direction, get our defender thinking that we're moving one way and we're gonna really change pace and attack the opposite side of their body. So for this, we're gonna just jab to our dominant side to start with, jab and go. And that's all it is. Make sure that the ball bounces at the same time as your foot plants or before it to avoid the travel, avoid changing that pivot foot which refs are hot on for. Remembering as we jab, we shift our core, the ball moves with our jab and then we're quick to the other side. For this drill, you want to do about a minute on each side. One minute each side, that'll help you get good conditioning and help you get that nice repetition and practice. And for the final part of the drill, we're going to simulate a game scenario in which we catch the ball with our back to our basket. We're going to take two jab steps. So to start this drill, all you need to do is spin the ball to yourself. As you catch, you need to establish a pivot foot. So I'm gonna establish my right foot as my pivot foot in this one. As we take our first jab, we're gonna jab downhill towards our defender who should be behind us in a game situation. From there, we're gonna square up to the basket and jab laterally. So that's all it is. We spin the ball to ourselves, jabbing downhill, and then squaring up to the basket and jabbing laterally. One more time, downhill, and jabbing laterally. Make sure you're practicing one minute on each side, shifting your core, shifting your balance, and the ball as well. Jab downhill, jab laterally, and go. You can also add in a cross jab and go like we did in our last drill. Jab downhill, lateral, and go. Making sure we move the ball
Okay guys, so that's the end of our jab step drills. Hopefully after those three drills, you get an idea of how to move your body and move your feet in terms of the jab and how to utilize that jab to move your defender and really exploit moving them and take advantage of what spaces you can create from the jab. If you have any feedback, leave a comment down below. Make sure you check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.